If you guys are looking for super cheap and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got 24-7 support. Guys, don't waste your money on packs. Hit up the sponsor. Use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off of your entire order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over a question that I know a lot of people have. A lot of people have it every year. And again, this doesn't always apply to a, maybe a large portion of my viewership, but the game does drop tonight at midnight the full official like everything's out like standard edition now has it which could be a large portion of people you guys don't really know how many people actually don't want to spend a hundred dollars but how to use a power pass is very important for most well even guys even guys that have been watching me probably still wonder like how does that work maybe you don't use them guys power passes are some of the most beneficial things in the madden community like in in this game like one of the most important things in mud they are so beneficial nothing's better than a power pass guys it pretty much says get like save money that's like all it is it gives you a free player it even gives people a chance to have players they most likely couldn't afford like it's a, it's a great use now i know a lot of people get in the game today probably gonna be leveling up and be like what is this thing how do i use it i don't know i guess i'll just put it there it works there no i'm gonna show you guys the best way to be using these things how you should be using them how to get them and pretty much a little bit even of how to power up players it's gonna be like a full power tutorial kind of thing i did this video last year and you guys responded really well to it so i'm gonna be dropping it again for you guys this year you know, month 21 updated edition. But guys, before we get into today's video, make sure you're down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys, and join the family. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always, if this did help you guys out. If this was useful information, always like the video. And uh, yeah, sub, comment, let me know what you guys think. And guys, of course, if you're trying to power up cards, these do require coins. Of course, like the coin, the uh, power pass is free. Powering up and adding a build, all the other cool stuff is, you know, it does co cost coins. So if you don't got coins, head on down below to mutreserve.com. Use code Pluto at checkout for 15% off. Super cheap, way better than buying packs. So if you guys are looking for some, you know, if you want to build the God Squad, best way to do it's down there. Use code Poodle, guys, to make sure you support. And yeah, let's head on over. So, power passes, how do you get them? You guys should know already, but if you don't, you get power passes from right down here at Mutt level. So, pretty much as you level up, you do unlock power passes. So, I already unlocked a few. Uh, let's see, the best power passes, guys, are going to be all the way down here. I will show you guys the ones you really want to be worrying about. 82 to 84 and up are pretty much where you start really caring. Now, there is a 62 to 81, or 80, yeah, 62 to 81. Now, that power pass, guys, is useful for a few guys, for those low base elites. Um, but the ones that you really care about, the 82 to 84, the 85 to 86, and the 87 to 88. Now, where do you get them at? 82, oh, you get two 82 to, 82 to 84s. And then you're going to get the 85 to 86 somewhere around right there. And then you get the final one, I believe, around level 50. Yeah, 87 to 88. Now, guys, these are the most important power pass. This one's the most important right now. Now, guys, so what is a power pass? A power pass, essentially... It's like, it's like, let's say it's a gift card. It's a gift card preloaded with a player in that overall range. So let's say, I want Aaron Donald, but I can't afford him. Perfect. Hit maximum level, gets level 50. That's Aaron Donald. That purple card right above my head, right there where I just got rid of the thing. That's Aaron Donald. That's free Aaron Donald, okay? That's all I got. I'm put it in terms of like that. How do you get it? You level up to this level. When you hit that level, you'll get it. You're going to get a bunch. Guys, first big tip, by the way, before we get any further. If you have a phone... If you have a pen, you have a paper, it doesn't matter. Get a note. Get your notes app out. Get your notes. Get your paper out. It doesn't matter what you use. Write down all every time you use a power pass. Why? Guys, I'm telling you. Let's say you use it on Aaron Donald, right? Powering up is hard. Powering down is even more harder. Why? Because it costs more. It costs you. You lose training when you power down. Not a lot, but you lose some. Um, you lose abilities. You make a mess of things. And then you got to repower them up. So let me explain to you why. We're in December, right? Aaron Donald's now at 94 overall. You have abilities on him. He's wrecking people. A new Bo Jackson comes out or something. And to get him, you need to use one of your power passes. And you're like, where's that power pass? Oh, I must have used it. I think I used it on Odell. You power down Odell. Oh, it wasn't Odell. I just lost all that training. I'm powering right back up. So now you lost training and I get a power back up. So you lost a lot of training and coins. Oh, maybe, may, no, may, maybe, maybe it was on Lamar Jackson. You do Lamar Jackson, power him down. It wasn't Lamar Jackson. And just it keeps rolling before you know it you finally figured it out it's aaron donald but you lost like 100k worth of training right down where it is makes it a lot easier later on to go back and take it off for that bow that you're gonna need it for because sometimes the new bow that comes out his car will be 400k you need to use the power pass to skip it versus the aaron donald now only goes for 100k trust me you'll learn that later super beneficial but let's go learn how to use a power pass so let's go to lamar jackson right over here so let's go to my Lamar and let's power him down real quick to give you guys an idea of how this does work. Not all the way, of course. I don't want to lose some training here, but let's refund the uh, the X Factor tier. Let's refund the item. All right. So pretty much, guys, every player has a power up card that starts at a certain overall. You're able to power them up with the training points, as you guys see the purple stuff right above. 
as you go on you keep powering power and then you get to a spot where it stops when it requires an item now the item essentially means the player's actual card their core their elite cards their actual cards so let's say for lamar jackson he has an 86 base lead in this game so you power up his card all the way up to an 84 and then to continue going you must get his 86 base lead to toss him in to make him a super lamar right let's look at it like that so you need his 86 elite now his 86 elite goes for let's say 100k you don't have 100k so what shall you do you're going to need the 84 to 86 overall or 85 to 86 overall power pass so level up to like 35 get that power pass and then you're gonna come here when you come over here and you get to this item thing you're gonna be like it's gonna tell you would you like to take it from your binder or from auctions you're gonna click on binder when you search from binder your power pass should show up i'm not that level yet i do not have it yet but it will show up and just like a power pass you're going to click it just like i click lamar add to upgrade and voila you have a powered up lamar jackson 87 overall cost you nothing that cost me zero cents to get him back up now you might say i use my lamar well it's the same thing power passing and that lamar is going to be the exact same thing and that is the beauty of the power pass guys so like same thing with aaron donald right let's go to my power up see if i have some more examples to show you guys here uh what do i got i got 18 oh i clicked on rivals uh so pretty much same thing let's say you have a lamar you have it let's say you have an aaron donald you're gonna power up aaron donald all the way up i have 62 to 81 so who here is a okay frank clark i believe is going to be a guy that gets powered up there so we go to we go to upgrades so same exact thing so let's see how much would it trade cost to get us all the way up to here it won't cost too much so we'll do it for you guys so we're gonna go right here and let's see we're gonna power him up 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 now here we are frank clark has a 80 80 overall in game now guys when you do power up a card you do get a plus one overall on their base elite so that's the beauty of it too power passing gets you the card and gets you a better version of the card so aaron donald 88 will be an 89 lamar jackson 86 and 87 so you get a better card it's free and he has now can get abilities and now can get better chemistries and he can get sprinter and a bunch of stuff guys sprinter increases speed abilities increase ability on the field makes them way better trust me you want to be using your power passes now i'll give you guys advice on your power pass in just a second well, let's finish the tutorial here so look right here you got to his 80 overall what shall you do you go do search from item binder you go in and right here you see you toss in your power pass and there you go 81 overall now i'm going to take that off because i do not want that on him and again i will forget where it is but you guys pretty much see the point and then when you want you refund see when you refund you lose uh you get a partial refund so for 10 i'm only getting five you lose half on these so if, when you get later up like aaron donald's power could cost you like two three thousand training per movement up so if you go backwards you lose a thousand five hundred and then you find out it wasn't even him with the power pass and you go back up you're just losing so much training you guys don't want to be in that situation make sure you write them down now my best advice when to use the power pass there's two ways to go about it guys if you're a mutt millionaire you're super rich you don't care about coins use it on the player you want if you no money spent your budget you don't buy a lot of packs you're young you can't afford to be getting coins all the time use it on the best available price now what do you mean by that okay um exactly this let's say there's two ways to go about this you're a big michael thomas fan so you want to use your power pass on michael thomas michael thomas is 120k but you do know the most expensive defensive player let's just say is aaron donald the smart person says take aaron donald by michael thomas so let, me, let me do the math for you guys so look you power past michael thomas and you buy aaron donald 180k for aaron donald not even 200k for aaron donald 120 for michael thomas so you power past michael thomas you buy aaron donald that's 200k you end up with aaron donald and michael thomas or or aaron donald the year-long card who's better and he's more expensive you can do power past aaron donald by michael thomas 120 so you saved 80k you have the same two players you guys seen the point end result michael thomas aaron donald either way you look at it you saved 80k always use it on the more expensive player do not be wasting these power passes on guys who aren't expensive like don't go use your 85 to, like and again right now it doesn't matter as much like you get power past my miles garrett power past chris jones not a big deal but in a month we have much superstars let's say we have much superstars that drops right ezekiel elliott comes out in much superstars ezekiel elliott's the best running back in madden like let's just say best running back in madden his base lead just went up now his base lead's not 30k it's it's 60k so now he's the most expensive uh 85 overall in the game so when you're gonna power up ezekiel elliott take your power pass off miles garrett buy miles garrett for 40 30k whatever use it on zeke now you save 30k you end up with zeke and miles garrett 
but you use it efficiently. And guys, you're gonna be doing this all year. As new cards come out, the new Dalvin Cook Team of the Week comes out. This 84 Dalvin Cook no longer is 25K. He's not a cute little 25K anymore. He's 60K. So now you're gonna take your power pass off Brandon Scherf, let's just say, put it on Dalvin Cook, save that 60K for now, buy Brandon Scherf back. Then in like a, two weeks when that Dalvin Cook's back in value, Go back, take the power pass off, put it back in your brand sheriff, buy the new, buy the Dalvin Cook again, but he's going to be super cheap again. You always got to be working these around. That's why you want a notepad, guys. I promise you, get a notepad. But guys, it is about it for the video. I think I pretty much covered all the bases on power passes. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did and you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on to my boys from join the family. Smash the like button. Can we get 200 likes on this video if it did help you guys out? And that's pretty much it, guys. If you need coins for all this powering up, again, down below, Mutt Reserve, use code Poodle at checkout. You guys... Do buy coins and you wanna and you guys screenshot it and send me a picture of it on Twitter. I will follow you back on Twitter. So, but it guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.